<laughs> we're live. <laughs> Official. <laughs> I'm Will. So we're talking about my work uniform, huh? Just wearing the most old man bathrobe I've ever seen, man. It is. Uh... Was it your dad's? Nope, it was a gift from my mother. Okay. Yeah. I don't think dad ever wore a robe. Oh, no, he wouldn't. Not that he I ever, ever. My dad, saw. all right, classic New York, he had the bib. So the actual, like, you know. The like pull- the jumpsuit? Yeah, the pullover sh- night shirt that went down to your, like, knees like like Scrooge McDuck. The one, wow. The, the, the two buttons, to, uh, the flap? No, no. To poop? No, no, no. <laughs> no you, you could lift it up, but oh, okay. it went down past his knees, and it had, like, um. It had like these ties across the chest. Yeah. Do people wear that still? Do they have the buttons on the back? Oh, uh, like, uh, long handles? No. Is that what they're called? Those are called long handles. Oh my right? god. So I remember that from my gunfighting days. We had one guy who would he'd gunfight in those as a as a skit. So. Oh, okay. Because it was like classic underwear. The classic yeah, red, yeah, and he yeah. would unbuckle one of the butt flaps. Yeah. So yeah. You could see half his ass. <laughs> So this is back when you could get away with this shit, and people <laughs> thought it was funny rather than like I'm getting on Twitter right now. Right. right. <laughs> Actually, I-, I wanted to ask you something because I was I was watching westerns the other day. Um, uh, I watched I watched True Grit. There's not much of this in the movie, but uh, it got me thinking about other things. Like because when you were in that club, did could you do any of the sure. like tricky stuff? And I can do flip some it around. Of them. And, yeah, like it the depends Johnny on like, Ringo get, shit. Yeah, I mean, can you do it with a drinking cup too? Well, that's actually easier. Is it? So yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's actually easier. I, I practice some of them. I could never do anything left-handed, so mm-hmm. but I get pretty good with my right hand on some of those things. I mean, I couldn't throw it over my shoulder or stuff, but you know, that was a, yeah. I've seen guys. I can't do that. that that's just like flat out. It, that's your job at that point if you're that good, right? Oh, we had a couple guys who could do Did that. Okay. Yeah, but they, they usually to do that they use prop guns. Uh, so they're they're like a tenth of the weight. So okay. yeah, if you do it with like an actual revolver, it's pretty fucking hard on your hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. So yeah. Shit, yeah. Well and you yeah, and you don't do it with loads in there it gets <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I remember a, a week when I was trying to learn how to uh, flap around a ballast song. A what? Uh, well, some people call them a butterfly knife. Oh, but it's a you know. Did the you black... chop any fingers? Jesus. I uh, well, okay. So what you do is when you're learning, right? Uh-huh. All you do is you just put a line of scotch tape around, or on the edge. Oh, okay. Right. So, yeah, you are going to get yourself, but it won't cut you. Like, it'll ding you, but... What else did you call it? A ballast song. A ballast song. I've never yeah. heard that. I've never heard I of it. I always knew it as a butterfly knife, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, that's the thing, is other people, like, refer to that thing as a switchblade, but that's not right. No, so I, I have a to... switchblade. That's completely different. What, yeah. the pop? Yeah, where it, it'll flick open. Yeah, I got one of those. Flick open or pop open? that's not a switchblade. That's a stiletto. That's a stiletto. So those are exceptionally dangerous. So Well, those are illegal here. No, you can get them. You're not supposed to. Yeah, you can. You, they, they repealed that years ago. So you can In get this state, man. Okay. In yeah, this state, yeah. yeah. There are still some places that are like, no. I've been oh, yeah. No, New York, California. No, fuck no. You can't have that. Let's I don't do think... I... I don't know if you can get brass knuckles here or not. You cannot. So yeah, you're not supposed to, at least. Well, you can do that. You can buy them if Why you find would that be bad versus a knife. I don't. I don't think. Yeah, it, it's it's it's. So the knife thing. There were a whole bunch of stupid knife laws that they cleaned up like five, six, or maybe ten years ago, where they got rid of those. And I don't think. Yeah, like. I know places like Connecticut and some weird places still have. Like I think New Jersey has like super strong knife laws and things like that still i don't know man yeah but like here there's a couple things like 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 batons you're not supposed to have those so blunt force weapons that's how i was looking for that yes yeah yeah. that you're not supposed to have and it's just because they weren't classified as knives but yeah like 10 years ago they cleaned up all the knife law you can have any whatever fucking kind of knife you want here no so at least to my knowledge so and i did look it up before i got my, my my switchblade so this was like five years ago Okay, and you're talking about the one that just it pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side open. Yeah, you flick it open. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Yeah. so yeah. 
Yeah, because there was, I remember, yeah, because there's this thing now uh, that they have for, because uh, they sell, like, telescoping walking sticks. And yeah. That was, there, there's something very specific, like, on the app that says, check and see if it's available in your state. Same thing with, like, those cane swords. Have you seen those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I, that, that's where I, I saw that, that knuckle dusters were, uh, knuckle duster's a pistol. I don't know, though. No, it's a pistol. A knuckle duster is a pistol. It's a little tiny pistol that has a um, a brass handle on it so that you put your fingers through. So, Oh, okay. That's, so that's it, is the, uh, it does have the... It does, but you shoot them with it. So, and then if that doesn't work, then yeah, you hit them. So. <laughs> yeah, I've heard, uh, yeah, I've heard brass knuckles referred to as those too. I've always known a knuckle duster as a, brass, as, as a pistol. So... Yeah. Well, the one you're talking about has them both. So. <laughs> it does. Yeah, not a lot of guys in the gun club fighting club have them. Is it? So, yeah, it's a boot pistol. You put it in your boot. So so it's also for, like, clobbering people? Sure. Okay. You shoot them with it, though. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> then why would you have the rings on? I have no idea. So, yeah. But it's I'm, a pistol. That doesn't even seem like you'd hold it the right way. What? Well, if you had rings on it. It's got it's so it's so small. It. It's so small that it's got two rings on it, so you can stick these your pinky and your ring finger in it. It won't come out of your hand when you mm -hmm. shoot it. Oh, so <clears throat> yeah, but those it's brass. So yeah. Oh, so that's that that does does it make it all the way down to the makes it all the way down to these two fingers, and you hold it you you hold the trigger with this finger. So but does the does the handle actually extend down beyond it's the bottom? It's tiny. Of... It's about it's it's about that big. Oh, so it just fits in your hand. Oh, so, so this yeah. is what you would essentially like. You would whip somebody with this then. After, yeah, you, but it's designed for shooting. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not saying yeah, okay. it's not. I'm, saying, I'm like, all right, so with a traditional pistol, if you're going to pistol whip somebody, it's going to be with the bottom part that... Oh, the butt, yeah. 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 But I, guess I, I think that is called a strike plate on a pistol. So... Probably. Uh, yeah. It is. Okay. Yeah, at least on mine. Yeah, you get a strike plate and a, what's called a, a back strap. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't remember if those were legal. I, I I think for a long time they were doing this shit that like they called it California legal, so that if you <laughs> um, called it a paperweight, you could have it. Oh yeah, my yeah. like brass knuckles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I've known people around here who've had them. So my understanding is that they're not hard to get. So you can get them like at gun shows if they're grandfathered in and stuff. But I don't think you can sell them. So like new out of box anymore. So well, that was where yeah you could order them that way if you bought them as like an executive paperweight. Or the other thing that they used to do was they used to classify them as belt buckles. Oh yeah, I've seen I've heard that too. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that too. I haven't tried buying any of these things, so I have no earthly idea. <laughs> you ever hit a guy with them? Have you? Well, <laughs> not but they suck. They, they, they're absolutely terrible. Did you hit a guy? No, I didn't hit a person. Oh, I just Jesus. said that. I didn't hit a person with it. Oh. You hit a parked car? Well, the whole idea is to break somebody's skull with it, right? Yeah, but that's okay. So I'm not talking about like the grill ones that are all like flat. You know, you got the ones that got the bumps yep. on them. Yeah, yep. that's the whole These idea is to shatter your skull. So amongst other things, I mean, or your jaw, whatever you hit. Yeah, yeah. whatever you hit. Is, yeah, yeah. But the the problem is like the so it'll fuck up the thing that you hit. Yeah, but it is so uncomfortable in your hands. Oh right? yeah, yeah. That that's you. It sucks. It just absolutely sucks. <sighs> Yeah, no, I, I'd shoot so uncomfortable. Well, <laughs> maybe if you got it like molded right for your hand, so that it can't shift and move <laughs> like a mouthpiece. Right? Yeah, Warm it yeah. up and then yeah. <laughs> stick your hand in the goop. Yeah, it's been a yeah. long time since I've molded a mouthpiece. <laughs> that was fun as a kid. I yeah, know, I didn't yeah. Know I'd get in fact, some of them actually had like a little flavor to them, which was weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, the other thing that I can remember, there are a lot of uh, places around the world that have severe, like, like draconian laws against owning nunchucks. Really? Yes. No. Well, I mean, yeah, just about any country that's not America basically has like restrictive laws on any form of weaponry. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Well, just pick up a baseball bat. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> and it's actually, it's it's more effective. Or a pipe. Yeah, a pipe. So or I, a wrench. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Why? Because these weapons look cool when you're using them, so we got to ban them. I don't, I don't, I, I, I remember reading something a long time ago about why nunchucks, hey, there's, there's problems with them in the States, like, there's some places that don't let you have them. It's, what I'm just saying is that because you have a very high probability of actually hurting yourself with them. I would, if you don't, don't know what you're doing, yeah. But, I mean, dude, I don't know what to tell you, like, around, see, we, you, I, I, I saw it on the, the thing from last time, like, around season five of the Ninja Turtles, they made <laughs> Michelangelo change his weapon. But everybody else got to keep theirs. Wait, what, what did, did he they change to? He would swing the little turtle rope around. I what, know, really? That was his weapon. That's I... because the kids wanted to play with nunchucks? <laughs> you got a guy with two swords. You got a guy with pokey size and a big long stick. Everybody else kept theirs, but the nunchucks had to go. I don't remember that. Two Dude. swords? <clears throat> yeah. Leonardo? Okay. Who had the staff? Not at all. Oh, okay. And then the pokey sticks. The the, the, the barbecue forks. Yeah. yeah, whatever. <laughs> that, was, that was Raphael. Raphael, and, uh, okay. And not to mention, like, Casey Jones had a whole, like, backpack of, like, golf clubs and fucking, you know, right. like, uh, bats and, and things like that. But no, um, they, they he had to give up the chucks. He just, he, he went, he fought with... <coughs> He fought with a little rope. He would he would swing that around. It's so corny. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I I seem to vaguely recall it had like a hook on the end of it. Yep. Yeah. Because it was the same. It was the same ropes that they would like hook to like swing around with. Exactly. Because they had. I, I do around. remember this because you know, now that you mention it, because there was, there was an outcry because there were toys. Yeah. Yeah, so you could get all the toys, and I do remember maybe a couple years there where everybody wanted to be Michelangelo and was making their own nunchucks out of fucking, like, uh, old broomsticks and, and bike chains or something. Sure. Yeah, or yeah. something. Or, like, lock the bicycle, the lock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do remember that. I had a, Yeah, there was a guy. His name was Eric. In, like, fifth grade, he made some of those. So, and his dad got pissed. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Was he selling them? No, he just he he was little he was like handy and he did them in scouts. So you know, and, I, I, I love the nunchucks. I thought they were so cool. So yeah, it's it's weird. It to me, it's 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 so bizarre that that's what they drew the line on. I I think it was because a lot of people were hurting themselves with them. So, it was very, me, but... We were just talking about wrestling before you got here uh -huh. and how they probably have he said they banned the the pile driver pile driver yes oh yeah and like oh yeah we we're like i wonder how come more people weren't just like injured from oh, yeah. doing all these wrestling moves as a kid because i'm sure we all tried to do the ddt and <laughs> <laughs> well you were i mean well your thing was submission holds yeah and uh you were pretty good at them they actually, some of them actually really hurt. They hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that Boston crab, that thing. Oh uh, well, you 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 did the you did the scorpion deathlock. Yeah. Um, and that one hurt way more than the Boston. Crab. Really? Yes. Yes, William, they did. And uh, as a matter of fact, the the less flexible the victim is, <laughs> the, more, the, the more, more painful. <laughs> It doesn't take much of an angle to, to uh, hit no, the breaking point. No, no, well, it does not. No. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty flexible back then, so. You were? Yeah. yeah. You still are, aren't you? No. No. Livy had to do stretches for it because her back was getting sore, so they were telling her to stretch and do all these things. And mm -hmm. um, one of them was like putting one leg flat on the floor and going to like a door and having the other leg straight up. And my legs don't do that, and Lily mm. would just be laughing. I'm like, "Oh my god, it hurts to even try to get so close!" Like, does she does she still do the thing where basically like you you spread and you're basically reaching forward, like not touching oh. your toes, but basically trying to do the splits, but then going forward, like yeah, my daughter can do those. Yeah, 
Actually, Livy's not. That's not as kids, flexible though, man. As yeah. Most of the other girls. Really? Yeah. She's got more muscle than most of the yeah. other girls. Yeah. No, Your my, my daughter's, daughter's freakishly strong. Yeah. My daughter's just bendy. So. But she, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of normal for kids, though. So. Well, those tendons are rubbery and exactly and vibrant yeah. and full of life. Yeah. <laughs> Once you start growing a little bit, it's like, oh, that's tight. You know? <laughs> all the lifetime of, like, decisions that change things. It's like, all right, without rubbery, and I'm sure fucking 12,000 Marlboros didn't help them out. And <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I can't guarantee what effect, you know, like, say, you know, Stoli has on tendons, but it's probably Gross. not awesome. Um, Stoli? Stoli. The vodka? Compared to like yeah. it all, oh, I know it's all vodka, man. It's, it's um, just, it's yeah. Oh, I was down with vodka. Vodka is your thing, yeah. yeah no, 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 some of them tasted a lot cleaner than others, man. At the vodka was weird, man. There was like this cutoff point where you spend more if on a bottle, it doesn't taste any different. Until a very you, like, diminishing returns. Until you go like 10 times as expensive, yeah. that it's like, oh, this is great, it's you know, really smooth, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it was never great. But it, it got the job done. What was yours? What was what did you get? I do any of them. <laughs> okay, got it. It's it's the one that had the least smell and least um, throwing with anything. Actually, there are because there would always be like like skull is bottom shelf. Yeah, Schmier yeah, off. I definitely Schmier Schmier off off was, 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 was 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 mid range. It was fine. And then, like, once you started getting to, like, Sky and Absolute and some of the other ones, like, you know. One of my buddies had Philandia. Oh, oh those are great. That, that, that one's a good. good one. Yeah. I don't know if I had that one. Yeah. It's, it's pretty it's good. It's pretty good. I never, I never drank the crap that Dan Aykroyd makes. I kind of regret that. He drank, he, he made vodka? Yeah. Oh, it comes in an actual cone head? Skull. Oh. A skull. Yeah. Well, that's very Dan Aykroyd. <clears throat> and then we went to... To Vegas when I was in college, and the guy loved vodka, and we went into a literal vodka bar yeah. and yeah. had a shot, and I was just like, "Oh, this is oh, <laughs> like wow, okay, <laughs> that was a twenty-seven dollar shot, huh? <laughs> okay." Oh, and they didn't uh, no pickles or anything afterwards. And no, I don't think I would. No, I just oh. we just drank the the vodka. Just like, huh. all right. That depends on the vodka, whether or not they bring in the pickle. Pickle? Oh, I've never. You never done that? Uh-uh. Yeah. It just depends on like a country thing. Yeah, there's a lot of like, it's it's a lot of like Eastern European stuff. Uh -huh. Is yeah. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. Well, if I drank, I would try that. But yeah, I'd be curious. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's because like I've never even thought of doing that. I'm like, well, did you did you ever like get into like some of the like like lab? martinis dirty stuff with no, um, no, no, no. Okay. I, yeah. so if you like any of the salty stuff in your in your drinks then you know that's kind of like that same matchup you can probably count on my fingers how many martinis i've had in my I think i've had like two yeah you don't like those huh i don't like gin so yeah okay. it, it takes it's 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 really dry well, you can get a vodka yeah. Martini too. yeah but i'm not huge mm. on vodka either so yeah Do this and drink's that, not it's just not yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing in here, yeah. I've had a couple over the years, but then like every now and then you get one. Like I had one down at that place that we used to go to that had yeah. like purple source Rex in it. So and it's just like eh. that was good. I mean it's just not... I don't remember it being that good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it tasted fine. Oh, okay. just... I just never yeah, they, and then once you start getting into the mixology of things then the price of the drinks would just keep going up and it was That's like, true. Eh, I'll just take the, the low low end stuff. I don't have taste buds anyway, and I'm drinking to get drunk, so Oh look, man, you're into <laughs> what you're into and if it's like, you know, function over form, then you know, by all means, you know. And it's 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 Believe it or not, there are people our age that are still drinking like malt liquor, and you couldn't get me. Who? Like people that are trying to get drunk on the cheap. Oh well, it's okay. been a while since I've had any malt liquor. But I would not <laughs> touch that I've shit. Seen a malt liquor? Like... I would not fucking like crack open a King Cobra. Oh my god! Or 
Or a Mickey's or a, a fucking... A uh, Mickey's. A uh, Mickey. Cold 45. A cold 45, an Old English, a... Uh, My dad used to drink Old English. Old English, time, yeah. yeah. It's, so, it's, yeah. it's yeah. whack. It's it's just, it tastes like crap. Um, I, I don't even remember what it tastes like. It's been it, so it, it depends on the ones. They make a malt liquor over at the Yacht Club every summer. Do they? Oh. It's yeah. actually really good. So, but, yeah, I mean, you can only drink, like, one or two of them. Uh, because if you sit there and pound it like you do normal beer, you're going to get... Fucked up. That's what the point so, yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. It tastes like really, really light beer that's a little thick. That's so, exactly yeah. it. It's It tastes thick. It tastes... It does taste uh, thick. We, we actually had guys in college years or a little bit after that did the, the 40s challenge, the 40s thing. We had to duct tape the 40s to your hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've done that. <laughs> it's been a while, but that been a while. Okay. okay. We did that at a party once. It was a redneck party. <laughs> <laughs> this was probably like ten years ago, man. So uh... Steel Reserve. That's the other Steel one. Steel Reserve. Of, yeah. Yeah. Steel Reserve. Ten years. That's not. We were doing it with like Molson or something, though. I don't think it was actually with malt liquor. That is way past your college years. <laughs> yeah, you... I know. Would so... you say, would you say Molson's a redneck beer? I no, I don't think so. Oh, Molson, it's, it's a redneck. Oh, fuck yeah, it's Canadian redneck. So yeah, I was gonna say like I feel like like Natty Light would be way more bush. Bush, sure. same thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, any of those things. Yeah, I mean, beer is kind of like I mean, unless you're really into it. Yeah, it's basically all the same. So so basically, like you're it's it's either that or you're in the sierra pale ales and, and you're into that weird shit where you look at you know abv count or whatever it is uh what's what's the ipa count in a beer well i i i'd say like how many jewels it has right? in it <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> bolts or whatever <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, yeah, that's because yeah, that's where it breaks in the different like types. It's like, oh, well, this is a porter. I'm like, well, okay, it's, it's, yeah, it's coffee. Like, so yeah, um, this is an India pale ale. It's like, okay, I don't like this. this right, is here's a, an English pale. Here's an American pale ale. Yeah. So and just once it got to like stout level, I can. Oh, Guinness! I could drink Guinness yeah, all night long, man. I can't do it when it starts getting syrupy. I thick. mean, I I could, but I mean, I would be about 10 behind you like guinness isn't even that you, you gotta drink a lot of guinness to get drunk to get drunk so it is the lowest lowest alcohol content beer you can find out really there. oh yeah so yeah but like a whole point and a half so yeah wow. it's almost like near beer so wow. well no it's it's it, guinness has a very distinctive flavor it does and to me it's something that like I don't want to say it's savory because that sounds like I'm talking. It's got Worcestershire sauce. I was like, oh, <laughs> savory is a word I'd use for like low main. Uh, right. so, <laughs> yeah. So no, I don't want to say that, but it's um, it's almost got like a it's like a like a really nice like bitter like washing um, extra to it. I always um, like guys. Yeah, I don't get it very often though. So. I haven't, the other had, stuff I haven't had it get us in years. Come to think of it, I've been to a bar that served it in a long time. So they don't serve it anymore. Like it's just not. Oh you know, no, you can find it. I just don't go to those. Places. You go to a place with its own brewery. So. I go to a place with its own brewery. Oh right, right. Yeah. So I like to be. But like old Chicago would still have old it. Chicago's definitely have yeah. it. Yeah. You know what? All right. So when I was way younger, and I was uh, talked into my friends, like, let's do the beer tours. Man, there was some oh, bad yeah. shit on those beer. Tours. Well, if you don't leave Colorado, you're not going to get very far in it. Well, there's, I mean, this is, I remember back when there weren't like old Chicago's outside of the state. So you had to go pretty far to find one. So. Really? There was one in Douglas, Wyoming. Really? Yeah. And well, and there's one in North Platte, Nebraska. Yeah. You know, but those are like the outliers, the man. Uh, and all they serve there is fucking fat tire anyway. So, you know. Well, they have their own local. <laughs> I hate fat tire. <laughs> I thought fat tire was just fine. I hate it, man. So it's it's like the fans of it that pissed me off. It's kind of like <laughs> that's fine. Like no, you know? no, dude, that's that's okay. Frankly, it's you know take that same thing and uh, replace it with Avalanche, and now now you've got kind of where I am. Well, you don't like Avalanche Breckenridge Brewery? Or? No, just the fans of it. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, Avalanche was fine. It's, it's like fat tires. Actually, I think, I think Avalanche is better than fat tire, but I, I agree. So, 
Uh, Avalanche had tastes a little bit more like a tree. <laughs> Fat tire tastes more like rubber. <laughs> you like what you like. You like what you like, man. It's cool. <laughs> like I said, man, it's just like I used to drink like Steel Reserves and Mickey's and all that other shit. You grow out of it, but you know, for a while, it tastes good. Yeah, I never really got hooked on malt liquor. So, in fact, if I liked any of them, it was King Cobra it was probably the best for me. When no. people were drinking the malt liquors, I was drinking Mad Dog. Mad Dog, I remember that. Mad one. Dog, yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, it was cheap. So, what well, the fuck, and man? Sugary is all get out. So shocking. <laughs> That's my avenue. <laughs> I love that stuff. Like that was Mad Dog. Oh my god. I haven't, I haven't thought about that in a long time. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, we would occasionally like throw back some like fucking what was the 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 Schlager, the the gold Schlager? Oh, that was good. Yeah. And uh that's what I first I can't got drink that off. stuff anymore schnapps. I'm tough so, stuff in a million years oh, now. Oh man, it's so sweet. It's like drinking a candy cane. So, well, that's uh, what was it? Aftershock was the was the yeah. cinnamon one. After, oh, no, well, that, the big one now is uh, was it Fireball? Fireball. 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 Yeah, I, I hate know. Fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> so my neighbor would always have. He had like a basket full of the like the fucking singles. Oh, so in there. And every time I come, hey, that come on over, man. He'd just throw one at me. So I got. I was like, oh man, I've been at the bar all night. I'm gonna get. Fucked up. <laughs> like, oh, no. I mean, Daniel starts giving me fucking, you know, uh, fireball after fireball after fireball. And so I, I cannot do it anymore, man. So I think that stuff is like responsible for all of my ulcers. <laughs> like I could see myself having one and, and liking mm. that. Or as a matter of fact, I could see myself probably like mixing that, like mix some of that in my coffee or something. And, and I... <laughs> being too bad they, so yeah i was at the rig one and one of the guys told me that like the dd made like his wife made homemade hot chocolate and brought Ooh. it out for the guy oh, nice. that sounds good and the guy told me he's like hey the the driller told me he's like hey go to my car and uh grab me a couple of the bottles and i was like huh he's like just just go you'll see and I go and it, and he has me grab like a couple of the shooters of the fireball. Yeah, shooters. That he's gonna put in, but his car is just loaded Wait. with empties of these things. Yeah. Just all I was like, dude, there's like a hundred shooters in here, and you're just driving around with this, just like in mm. your car with them all empty. I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, man. But yeah, then they, they got to the ring and they're just like. Shh, I mean, that does sound pretty good. Like, again, like a little bit of that stuff goes a long way. Like, I don't need to. I know they made some. I can't remember what it was called. There was some that was like butterscotch that was um, a little bit much. What was the the other stuff? Butterscotch like, whiskey. Butterscotch schnapps. Schnapps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. There was also but Fireball about. isn't a schnapps, is it? I no, it's, it's whiskey. Yeah, it's whiskey. No, because I'm talking. I'm still yeah, talking about the schnapps. The, okay. the schnapps there, well, there's yeah. every flavor of schnapps you can. Yeah, I'm trying to remember ones that were peach was a lot. I've had a lot of peach. Lot of peach, peach. Because I'm trying to remember all the dumbass names for these. Because like aftershock was the cinnamon schnapps, well, right? No, aftershock was the blue one. Um, that was the blue one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I can't remember what the red one was. Rumple mints. Rumble, oh that, wow, okay. Rumble, that wasn't what the, that red, wasn't one. the red one, no, though. but Rumble, but I yeah, remember Rumble Mints for sure. Yeah, um, there was maybe, a red one. Was that hot damn? Maybe uh, that's another thing. Yeah, I think that's that's whiskey as well. Uh, that's like a yellow label with red on yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe it is Aftershock and the blue thing, is something else. But I thought I thought the blue is Aftershock. Well, yeah, there's blue is aftershock, and then um, I can't think of what the red one. The was. other one was what Tanqueray, the gin that was blue. And so, oh. oh, well, that's yeah, that's that's different. Oh, yeah, no, I know that's different, yeah. but I yeah, I can see the you bottle get stuck on the crystal. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. <laughs> this is so lame. It's... 
Akbar is just like Goldschlager with a little yeah. flinch in it. It's like, oh yeah, you live at large, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, our theory was that the gold would eat a lo- hole in the lining of your stomach so yeah. the alcohol could get through your fat. Shut that. the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah that was the college theory. <laughs> that was not an uncommon theory. <laughs> I thought the theory was that the gold flakies <clears throat> absorbed the alcohol. Oh no, it's to get you it's more to get drunk. You more fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, no. Also, oh, right. it's, it's so there are pockets that that basically, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why would gold absorb alcohol? Why would it fucking melt holes in your stomach? Because <laughs> your body is not used to having your gold in there. <laughs> I don't know. What was that? I'm trying to remember the other shit that people used to do. What was it? Cactus juice? Um, what is cactus juice? Oh god, yeah, shit, I'm gonna have to. That that that, that goes all the way back to high school. I, I remember Sounds the like name. A mixed but... drink. <laughs> oh. I, I... Some of them were just t- like the, some that awful cement mixer shot. Oh, like yes. I can't Disgusting. believe that people would, yeah, did that once. I was like, yeah. this is no. It was that like, I can't it's got grow. milk in it. Oh yeah, it's just, oh it's gross. Yeah, this, this is what cactus juice was. Oh, what is it? Yeah, it's it's schnapps. Oh, but okay. I can't. Huh. So it's not a mixed drink. It's actually a pool. No, it was just yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't remember that one. I never had that one. Mm-mm. I had it once. Um. Yeah, this was just this was the the early twenties, late teens stuff. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really start drinking until my twenties and thirties. <laughs> so. I thought I thought you had beers like when you were like I had beers when I was eight. Yeah. You know, with my yeah. dad, we go fishing. So, what do you think of a beer at eight? I thought it was gross. Okay, so. Hey. But it, it kind of grew on me after a while. Actually, after I started working, it was like, beer is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. Um, I still never fully turned the corner on it. Oh, I love beer. It's so. all right. But it wasn't... I don't know, man. Like, beer would bloat me so badly, too. It was just like, it was... I just hate having to go to the bathroom all the time. Yeah. Like, keep drinking. Yeah, I'm totally used to it. <laughs> it's fine, man. So there's this like fucking trend though that I've noticed among guys in the bathroom to fucking Superman it now. So they just drop trowel and let it rip. So and put their hands behind their backs. What the fuck, man? What? I don't know. This is something we were discussing. I don't maybe, know. Like, bar, I guess. Ago, so, yeah. I... It's wow. Just, we, we, we started it out. That did that. We, we know, it's, so it's younger guys who are doing this. Because they don't so, want to get splatter on I have it? no idea. So it's it's like the weirdest thing when you actually see someone's butt cheeks as soon as you turn the corner. So, no, dude, know. that's how... That's how little kids used to it's take. Exact, it's exact. It's, it's like how Butters does it. Yeah. So, yeah. Where you tuck your fucking shirt under your chin. Yeah. And because uh, 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 the when you when you say you know people that I remember doing this, mm-hmm. it's when they had those urinals that went all the way to the floor. Yeah. No, yeah. they do not do that at the bar that I go to. No. So yeah, no. And they so, have grown people toilets. Right. It's yeah. it's men's room on it. Yeah. So this is the other place downtown that's in the old fucking elementary school where i guarantee you people do that just for funsies so actually i think that place closed so it? not the actual like you know the cheese shop and stuff but i think the brewery's gone really so, oh. yeah no there's too many breweries in this town so well, well thanks for the heads up yeah if, if you I, know if I do happen man, to yeah. see it in a place i won't just be like what the fuck it'd be like oh yeah. people are doing this now okay. i don't know it's just something that i've noticed that's, that's been more common over the last year i so, knew a guy from europe that did that like 20 years ago maybe it's europeans i don't know so yeah but it's you don't touch anything you know kind of thing so yeah, you put your hands on your hips or behind your back so yeah okay well, yeah i've seen so, yeah. guys do that so it's weird I've never tried peeing like that out of a urinal or anywhere else. Like, that's just so weird of a concept. Like the shower, maybe? You never pee in the shower. That's how you get sink floors. It's all pipes. I know, He's doing man. the Costanza oh, theory. Okay. The Costanza theory. I don't know, man. I've I've, I've grown to respect my pints. <laughs> 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 But even then, would you put your hands behind your back and put your hands anywhere? It's in the shower. I just can't remember. Y'all know it comes out of you sterile, right? Yeah, I know, but it's still gross. So, I don't like peeing on my feet. 
nobody's peeing on their feet. Yeah, it's, 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 there's a possibility that some pee gets on my feet, so I'm not going to do that. And you just take the hose and... Just... Nope. Mm-mm, no, no, man. I got to clean the whole fucking bathroom now. So How can you say, like... You, you it's all... mental. It's mental. I get it. It's mental. So it's in my head. Okay. But I refuse to pee on any part of myself on purpose. So what if you got a jellyfish well, thing. Huh? What if you got a jellyfish? Well, I've got bigger problems than whether or not I peed on myself. So well, you're supposed to pee on yourself to Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Alleviate the Well, first of all, I'm never going in the ocean, so that's not the <laughs> So I mean, unless that motherfucker crawls out okay. on me. <laughs> so. so you're in the Pueblo Reservoir, <laughs> and a jellyfish gets you. <laughs> yeah. So. A saltwater jellyfish the gets salt you. A saltwater jellyfish <laughs> swim all the way up from the Gulf. A the, Portuguese man of war. war. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that a trash bag out there? Yeah. Let me go get it. Don't touch it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just okay. I get it. It just it's it strikes me as the guys that have had children and have seen like the grossness that comes out of diapers. I was like, it's horrifying. It doesn't mean I want it. Like, it doesn't mean I, I didn't say that you did, but it's something that like, all right, well, because I've handled this, this is nothing. It, it's still not okay to do that, man. So, all right, I gotta know. All right, so if I just just okay. Your crews that you used to run with, like, you know, when you were, you know, younger in college or whatever, right? Did the guys you hang out with, did they just pee everywhere? No. No. The only place I've ever been uh, where people did that was on the railroad. And they were the, all the rednecks. Rain. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is... Uh... But when you're in society and you have right. a bathroom you're there. domesticated like... you use the cat box <laughs> <laughs> there was the occasion somebody would use a tree mm. or something yeah when you're that's drunk and you're outside. but that's oh no this stone cold sober it was just, that's you know. not just because i'm outside and i'm like eh, yeah anyway, i gotta go yeah middle of the day yeah, yeah no, no i'd never do that yeah. No. No. All right. It must Especially be not your, in town, man. It must be your generation. <laughs> yeah. I don't do it now. I just say that when I grew up, the guys I grew up with, it was just like, because we spent a lot of time outside. We'd, we'd like, you know, or in the fields or whatever, or just, you know, uh, you know at night, we're just, you know, in the park. Just, just go. No, the only place I've ever been was the railroad, and that's because you weren't allowed to use the, the, the lab and the locomotive, so... If you're in the middle of nowhere, kind of thing, I'm in the middle. Of, yeah, then that's fine. Is there a bathroom available? No, there, there were. There, I mean, yeah, then that's 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 fine. fine. But if yeah. you're like hanging out somebody's house <laughs> in, in your the backyard, front porch, just go fucking and you're just like, rather bushes. than walking yeah. inside to use the bathroom, you decide to walk to the side of the house and take a leak. That's happened. But, I mean, it was, like... <laughs> I'd have to be really drunk. <laughs> I mean, like, so much just like, is this my house? <laughs> kind of drunk. <laughs> is it my house? <laughs> I gotta go next door. <laughs> Not on my house. <laughs> what do you think this is? The side of a strip club? No, it's like... <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, see the thing, you barked in way more places than I have. That you don't have control. You don't have control over that. So, that you're when yeah. you barf, you, you're done. Yeah, it's it's it's. You like, hit the eject button. It's mm -hmm. it's. You look left and look right and look for the best spot that's two feet away from you. Sometimes it's been hit for you, man. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, and, and I gotta tell you, I find I find barf to be infinitely. Grosser, it's way more disgusting. Yeah, yeah but it's way more. That's the last straw thing. That's like, where you have no control. Yeah, of the situation. So you don't have a choice yeah. to walk over into the bathroom or around the house to the bushes. This is happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've done it many times. <laughs> that's what I'm like, I, I, that's why I'm like, how can pee bother you if, if I you... can control that? Yeah, that's so, a choice. Yeah, it's a choice. No, I understand I, it's a choice, but the actual stuff itself. I don't like any of that stuff, man. I don't like getting barf on me. I don't certainly don't like getting pee or any kind of shit on me or anything. But I've had all those things happen. I had a good kid. You know, it doesn't That's mean, I don't like any of it, and I'm not going to add to it. <laughs> I get cleaned up after yeah. it happened. Like, dude, I knew 
I don't know. I knew guys that would pee on each other. That's horrifying. But yeah. Just... Your group was... Yeah, you guys are weird, man. A little whacked <laughs> there. But... I didn't do... No, these were people on the ancillary of, of our group. Because you got to remember that there was there was... There were construction guys on the end of my group. So, like, you were talking about, like, railroad and, and like... I didn't know rig guys that peed on each other. No, I didn't know anybody okay. in the railroad who peed on each other. They peed outside because you weren't allowed to pee inside the locomotive. It make oh. it stink. Or you were, so, like, yeah. don't have time to go all the way down to the port <laughs> way over there. You... Oh, okay. No, to, uh, yeah. So, all right. No, that's that's fine. So, I guess... I guess the peeing everywhere thing was like civilized by our standards, where it was we didn't weaponize the shit. I, I dude, I knew dudes who would. Oh God, okay, so I remember. All right, this was fucked up. All right, um, I, I remember, yeah, because I was in the in the bed of a truck, right, and you know, I was with a guy that was you know basically laying down. We're in the bed of the truck. He just whips it out and. From his back starts peeing out the... He's just trying to show you his dick, then. No, he was trying to pee, because we're driving. And so he's spraying, you know, pee out the back of the truck into the traffic behind. Did he have a dad growing up? Yeah. Okay. Oddly enough. No, yeah, there, there, okay. would, there would be the yeah. fair questions, but... <laughs> I'm just saying, like... <laughs> so there was, there was just, like, tomfoolery with piss that... that, that... that was not how I no. know. <clears throat> it was a matter of fact. I think I may have, I've probably told you guys about this, but the you remember the guy that used to sat there at the academy and and Austin Bluffs with the flowers. Yeah, the Mooney. Yeah, the guy who had the sign that says I'm I knew not that Mooney. guy. You knew him. Yeah. How'd you know him? Uh, he dated his son. Dated my sister in law for a few years. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. So I know. Yeah, the story where they soaked him with a bucket full of piss. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't forget about that. Okay. Well, yeah. That's. So that was you. Uh -oh. no, that's no. why I'm saying I felt totally fine compared to the company that I was with. I absolutely refined. So like P is like, all right, I don't want to get it on me. I'm not in the mood. But if it goes in the shower, who the fuck cares? But again, you know, it's all perspective. It's fine. Now, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, well, might as well get the, the scrubber now, man. <laughs> I don't know. When I turn the shower on to warm it up, it's usually the sign to go to the bathroom. Yep. And I'm done. Like, I, I would have to hold it to go into the shower to then. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's, uh, it, to each their own, I guess. Um, and if you find it gross, I'm not. There's no way I can look at you and say, like, Patrick, let me normalize P for you. Right? No, you continue to be grossed out about it. That's totally yeah, it's, fine. Yeah, it's horrifying. Right? I'm just saying yeah. I come from a different world where it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. And, and the fact that... I'm fully domesticated, and I love it. <laughs> I see, like, I can flip around on you say, like, like, the places you barfed. Oh, these are quite horrifying. Yeah, right. Those are the things I've that I find yeah. so many times. Yeah, so... these are the things that I find absolutely abhorrent. Yeah, but... me too. So I agree. I'm not proud of any of the times that I barfed. So no, yeah. no, 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 not a single one. So in fact, some of them were quite excruciatingly embarrassing. So <laughs> yeah. I don't have too many that were. I do. <laughs> I mean, New York was pretty bad. <laughs> New York was pretty bad, so but that's not even close to my worst. So no. did you on somebody? I've done that. Oh, so yep. I don't think I've ever done that. I've nailed a guy. So, yeah. <laughs> like in mid conversation? No. Yeah, okay. his back was turned to me. <laughs> it was even worse. So, <laughs> this, uh, like, did you reflect? Did you did you uh, bounce it off the the video poker machine? No, that one was it stuck. All of it stuck. <laughs> So, and like the hottest bartender I'd ever met handed me a rag. Oh, so, yep. <laughs> I threw my hoodie into the river that night. So. <laughs> Walked back to the hotel in five degree weather. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I imagine that my worst was, was probably everything we did to Glenwood Springs. So. 
I don't remember you throwing up all over the place. Oh, bro. Okay, so... You know, we were talking about uh, uh, malt liquor for a second. So there's this brewery in, in Glenwood Springs. Uh, they made great beer. They made fantastic food, right? But I don't know... What is the... the, the there's like a, a goofy term for like beer that is like high... Uh, Hoppy or whatever. well, no, no, high alcohol content. There's oh, like a no, like a term. that's malt liquor. It, it, it's I, the same thing. Yeah, it, it was just like really high alcohol content uh, uh, beer. So we're just chugging it like normal, right? <laughs> and we're getting like screwed up. And I brought like uh, me and the guys brought tons of liquor with us and to the store. So you know we do that. We go to the hotel, and so we're getting trashed. We're if you've been to Glenwood, there's this bridge that goes mm -hmm. over the hot springs. <clears throat> Pete off the bridge, Pete into the hot springs, all sorts of stuff. Like, um, I'm telling you, right? And this isn't even the worst part. So we get back to the hotel room. We're going to be partying all night. Uh, <coughs> uh, so we're in the room, you know, and, and we're, you know, we've got another couple of handles of liquor. We just keep, you know, going crazy. And like, uh, so... These guys swear I punched a hole in the wall. I didn't. Okay. There was a, like, so there's a, in, in, in the hotel, there's like these, there's like a divot, right? Um, and I'm just laying on the bed and I get up and, uh, it's like you said, it's like, it's happening. Right. So the best thing I can do is like make a, <laughs> so I, I lean over against the wall. Right. And I just kind of like make a, Right. And so I'm like going to catch this stuff. And uh, so I bark in the hole and I, I catch what I can. And I walk over to the sink and I just throw it all in the sink and then bark in the sink some more. Um, and some of the other guys, you know, they, they went outside. Some of the other guys, you know, they went, they barked in the tub. They, you know, stuff like that. Um, and earlier on, we had, we'd gone to the, to the swimming pool right and it's it's like we were motley crew on tour we threw all the furniture in the pool we just, i'm telling you man it's like they had tower racks we trashed everything and uh <clears throat> uh yeah i remember the next morning <laughs> i woke up i was freezing um because we <laughs> we had to have the windows open in the middle of like like uh zero degree weather because of the stink. Yeah. And the I other guys imagine. were like, uh, like, they got in there, like, got, I have to put, like, I gotta put my contacts in, you know? And, <laughs> the stink. and uh, yeah, some of the other guys were out there barfing in the parking lot and, and uh, you know, different places. It was, it was a mess, man. We trashed that whole place. But yeah, that, that sucked. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. That sounds pretty terrible. I haven't been in a puke fest where everyone's puking. Usually it's only like one. Well, you one were. Or... Yeah, I mean, he was the only one. You and Kevin were. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, but that's. That was that's, one time. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the times, I, I, it's usually only one person that's at puke level. Yeah. I've been to several parties where it's like that guy's gonna he's gonna lose it later. And then yep. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yep. <laughs> so. Yeah, I I don't miss puking. I no, don't, I don't no, either. I don't either. I'm good. No. It's fine. That's that that's a young man's game. That's how you <laughs> that's how you learn. Took me a lot of lessons. Well, you don't give up easy. True. I gotta give you credit for that. that was goal oriented. Goal oriented. Did you win? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. When you hit the limit, you're like, yeah. yeah. I think that's about it. I consider. I don't know. I I would think being at work drunk is probably, like the tops. I've known a few of those. Uh, I sweat in a couple of those pissed us. Or, oh really? Or, I had a oh, I had no. a breathalyzer on the job. Yeah, what the time. fuck did you pass? I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, no I don't idea. know. Yeah, this just must be worthless, dude. I've had. Uh, I've got a breathalyzer at home, man. They are fucking sensitive. So, <clears throat> I had. I had. 
because I had just gotten off shift. And so I went and had, like, I had a shot or two. And then I went back over, and they're like, hey, everyone on location is going to have to take a breathalyzer. And I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> and I just drank water and started swishing and going. And oh, really? by the time when I was one of the last ones to take the test. So I guess I was able to manage two shots in less than an hour and, and come up with zeros. I heard the trick on that thing was to puke and then drink a glass of milk. So mm. I've heard that. So I don't know I, if it's true. I thought I was getting fired. That yeah, day. I'll bet, man. I've had guys that got pulled on a random drug test where I knew they were going to, they, they just instantaneously you could tell, you know, he's like, oh shit. And most people are like, God damn it, I'm trying to go home. You know, and then it's other guys. What? what when, when is it? Where? What, what are we doing? You know? And it's like, uh oh, <laughs> they can't do this. They can't do this. Yeah, I well, just did what last week. You know? When I roughnecked, why the the pusher called up and he's just like, "Are you good to pass a test?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Okay, I need to go take a test. I need you to go take a test." <laughs> we used to do that a couple of places I worked. Yeah. I was like, that's a weird question. Are you good? Um, what what happens course. if I say no? <laughs> it's like, all right, we never had this conversation. Like, or does he send someone else? Or so I, I used to just get... have to test a guy. Yeah, yeah. So we used. To, I used to be the volunteer guy at Worldwide. <laughs> so because awesome. everybody there smoked weed, except oh, for me. And okay. So yeah. Yeah, they were like, all right, Pat, you know, you get the rest of the day off if you go do this. Whenever it comes up, I was like, no problem. You so, got it. You got it, buddy. Because so, it stays in your system for a while, right? Depends on the test. So, like, you know. Were if, they taking hair you, from you? Or? No, no, this is just a piss test. Oh, okay, okay. So, when I used to hire on the railroad, they used to do hair test. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Same with yeah. And that's like months. Yeah. So, and we would have guys who would show up and, oh, it's a hygienic thing. I shave all my hair. We get the fuck out of here. So we know what you're doing. So yeah. you know, kind of thing. So, but and they get all huffy about it and shit. But it was like, no, no. They had to uh, for for Baker. They had to like get it off my shoulders. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Cause... yeah. Oh well, yeah. But I mean, so like most of the time, like when we have people who showed up, we're bald in that one. It wasn't hard to get hair off them because we had nurses do it. So, or I, I've heard some places be like, all right. We get your eyebrow. Yeah. I, you didn't show you that. Yeah, you didn't show you that. Yeah. I, you know, that's funny. They, they could have asked me for one, but yeah, they're over there like fucking shaving my shoulders. I'm, they're like, oh, they shaved it? Yeah. That's interesting. Usually yeah. they pluck them because they need the root. So that's interesting. They just, the for them, they they couldn't just get one. They needed a whole it's bunch. A patch. It's a yeah. patch. Yeah. 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 And so they're like, do you have any hair anywhere else? And I'm like, Let me pull it down because I've got like nine hairs on my chest. Right. If, you but I was like, of them. <laughs> they're yours. They're yours. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. do you have any anywhere else? I'm like, yeah, my shoulders. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to as much as you can get. If um, you want, you can get them all. Just yeah. kind of clear. <laughs> kind of curious. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, if they asked if they, if they asked me for an eyebrow, I'd give it to them. But so I didn't even think about that. That's different than when we used to. I mean, granted, this was twenty years ago, but they they used to pluck. So like four or five hairs. It wasn't like the shape. Baker patch. was just see that's patch. yeah that's different. So something's different than or how far back they want to go. Because if you go, oh, fall, that's we'll true. Yeah, right that's true. You're right. Is it? Uh, oh, you're you're testing. Like, because then you're getting... Well, it should be just at the end with that. That's going to be the oldest part. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. That's true, yeah, because that is the freshest. That yeah, would be so the... Would like, be, like, why would you Like, if you that? just smoked the other day or something. <laughs> so, Thank you. I don't know how it works. No, no, either. I didn't look it up. <laughs> no, I've never, like, studied on how to, like, beat one of these or whatever, but whatever, you know. The only thing I or what was the, the what was the stupid one that I heard somebody said about like if you have to breathalyze like suck on a penny. I've heard that. Yeah, I, I try. Mean, I would try doing that just driving home, like from a bar or something. I just really like, well, just in oh, case wow. I got pulled over, I'd have a penny. Yeah, I heard like either use mouthwash or suck on a penny. 
And I don't know how mouthwash would help you because there's... It's in your stomach. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's trace alcohol and mouthwash. Right. It depends on the mouthwash, yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I never tried that. Maybe I'll try that. Oh, I do have a breathalyzer. So... <laughs> Why do you have a breathalyzer? I mean, it was an Amazon gift. No. So, you know, like free shit you get from Amazon that wasn't for you. So, uh, Oh, <laughs> yeah. Really? So, oh. yeah, no, some dude ordered it and used my address. And... Gotcha. Okay, well, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could see making an evening of that. Like, oh, I would too, yeah. Down with the wife like, I did, yeah. 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 It's like, have another one of those and we'll see how... Oh, it goes up fast, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So especially you start doing shots of Jim Beam, it's like, oh man, I'm fucked. <laughs> Way over the limit, man. <laughs> Why are we so crocked? Uh, because I got somebody else's breathalyzer. Yeah. Yeah. It's happened a couple times, man, but usually you get like weird bullshit, but um I don't know what it is, but every now and then I just get free shit from Amazon. Like I got this huge car part once. I was like, what the fuck is this? So, you know, it turned out to be a used car part that some dude had ordered from up the street. So, you know, and eventually he managed to track it down. And he came down and I was like, did you order a breathalyzer? He's like, no, nah, that one wasn't me. So <laughs> I was like, all right. Because <laughs> we've been having fun with that. <laughs> I would have been curious to see what I would have blown. Into my... It doesn't take much to get way over the limit. So not much at all. Because what is the, I mean, you do, I don't want to say, like, expertise in, like, you did this, but, you know, you have some inside knowledge about, sure. like, the the things. Like, what does it take to blow hot? What, what, what? Two drinks over a four-hour period. Four hours? Yes. So, it is, the limit is that sensitive. So, yeah. Holy mm -hmm. cow. Two drinks over four hours. Depends on your own metabolism, but, yeah, if you yeah. go, if you go have dinner and you have two glasses of wine, it's possible that you will blow hot. So, yep. Yeah. Does food help? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Even for just blowing? Like, you know, yeah, it seems to. So, I don't know. We didn't we didn't sit down and get the notebook out and you know, right? It like, well, it's like yeah, drink these <laughs> beer, no beer, you know. So, all right, so whether you want, oh, to... I would have been trying all sorts of stuff. Eat this hot dog. Eat this hot dog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Eat a piece of bread. <laughs> you know? but... Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, I, I remember, like, some of the morning afters, like, um, like, the, the only thing that seemed to, to make a difference was, like, Louis bread, or, or like, oh. some kind of, sometimes that, that actually helped with, with, like, the next day. Yeah, I, I get so hungover now, I can't, it's, it's, I can't do it no more. I never got hungover. I get hungover like a motherfucker. I hate it. But I would also wake up and drink. Yeah, no. <laughs> I guess it will. <laughs> I guess I, but I would wake up fine. And I wouldn't be hung over. Mm -mm. Supposedly that's the greatest cure for a hangover. What, drinking yeah. more? Yeah. Well, that was true before I turned 40. And then after that, it was like, no, that makes it infinitely worse for you. So it's like a switch. switch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That, what's that? that? That's the hair of the dog, right? The hair of the dog, yeah. Oh. It works great when you're 25, so it does not work when you're 40. So at least not for me. So I'm sorry, man. The, the, the sick days exist for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> that being said, man, like I, I don't. There's, there's not a guy that I know that didn't at some point for whatever reason have to. You got to go in and got to swing the hammer the next yeah, day. Sure. You gotta, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It sucks, but mm -hmm. every guy I know has had to do that oh, once yeah. or twice. Many times. Many, many times. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were just literally there. Yeah, down. Literally yeah. had to swing the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you doing? Operating heavy equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Is it expensive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, we played a poker night when I was a roughneck. And, dude, yeah, that next day, all the whole crew was just messed up. That's like, our pusher so came out, and he's just like... What is wrong with all you guys, yeah. man? You guys are like, uh, we're good, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Don't get hurt. 
I don't know. Is there any way that they can alleviate that for you guys? Like, do it. A... No, nah, once you start working and you sweat yeah, it out, I mean, it it, it yeah. takes a couple hours, and you're you're totally. That was always yeah. When you're doing a job that requires some kind of physical exertion, you feel pretty good after a couple hours. Yeah. So... Not at first, though. <laughs> no, no, it's terrible. Let's <laughs> see if it's early in the, the train morning. Going, it's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't want to be here. Oh. And when everyone is going, <laughs> the misery is just all spreading around. Everyone's moving in slow motion. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I'll do every now and then is I'll I'll, I'll put a little bit of uh, whiskey in my coffee, but that's that's as far as I go now. And even that's kind of rare. I drank beer last night. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yes. This is a. I drank. Well, I, you're you're allowed to do that now again, right? Because mm. because you were on hiatus for your stomach. I was. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. So. And what was the final verdict? Stay away from this, or oh. Uh... Yeah, there's like specific things like tomatoes, you know, I'll take it easy on those. Oh, and, that uh, go for like strawberries too, like nightshades? Strawberries so and then um, yeah. not just nightshades, citrus in particular. Oh, so okay. No more. Uh, you have pizza? Pizza's okay. I just don't eat it very often. Hmm. And I don't pig out on pizza like I used to. So now like I order a pie, I'll eat two slices of it and my daughter can have the rest. And so... You know, I've gotten to the point in time. I just don't eat as much as I used to. Mm. So I don't need it. And so, uh, but the other thing, I was, I, I drink grapefruit juice all the time and I can't do that anymore. So oh. it's like instantaneously. So I can feel like. So you have acid problems, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's acid, it's gastritis. So I don't know if like the, like I've tried Tom's and shit, like it doesn't really do anything. So. You know, oh, but they got me on a different pill that I just take one every day, and it's fine. So, well, I mean, all the stuff that you've talked about are like they're inflammatories. Well, it's definitely inflammatory. I don't know if yeah. it's strictly acid based, but oh, because they didn't say nothing about fried foods and stuff like that. So, fried foods not really that acidic though. Okay, well, it still fucks me up. So, <laughs> well, it can do so for different reasons. Like yeah. salmonella fucked me up. But I don't That's true. Yeah, yeah, it's not acid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty far from it actually yeah god when that cleared up man that was that was uh and it was it was not a a we're done with this like i didn't <laughs> wake up and it's like all better now it was a slow recovery but when that ended yeah i was like i'm so hungry <laughs> just remember eat how you think you're gonna feel in 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 I, I, that's yeah that's really good advice he gave me the other day and I've, other people have echoed that over the years and he just put it in really succinctly so well, it's, and it's true it's it's absolutely true it's like it's yeah true. that's because they eat everything with those two little sticks instead right. of like yeah like a garden spade like, yeah. <laughs> which is your fingers you know <laughs> right, yeah. right yeah it's like how full like if you have to if you have to eat an entire Jersey Mike sub with like chopsticks, it's gonna take you gonna more take than twenty minutes. Yeah. Hmm. I can't imagine trying to do that. I'm not recommending <laughs> it. I don't want you to go out there the next sandwich you get, you know, chop it into sushi Bloody. bites and just yeah. you know, take each one and then dunk it and then <laughs> in soy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hit it with the wasabi. It's like, wasabi. really? That's an Italian BMT. I don't know if that's right. Gonna... Yeah. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. And just because, you know, look at the way that our mother eats, right? She puts out, she opens like 15 containers and she pokes at all of them. And after a while, when she's done, you know, Korean grazing, you know, she's just done, right? She it takes a while. It does, right? Because she's not really eating that much. And it's not. Oh, she can. She can put it down, right? Especially, you know, all things considered. But when it comes down to it, like, I guarantee you that woman's not eating more pizza than I can. No. I will bet you $100 I can eat more pizza than her. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather just give I'll you I'll even give you odds. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but... She also doesn't use chapsticks for pizza. No. No. So, but, yeah, you're still gonna crush her. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't eat like that anymore. I was at Will's house the other day, mm -hmm. and... Did you finish eating all of it already? Most of it, yeah. Seriously? 
That was yesterday. I can't keep that crap in the house. What is it? It was one day. There was when you go to Will's house. Uh huh. They stockpile so much like junk food and candy oh. and like little like cakes and all these other things oh. that I don't keep around. Mm-hmm. And so his 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 girl brought me a mooching sack of like, um, hey, why don't you take all these things? And so I just started like filling it with all the stuff that I never see, mm. right? And like, I know myself. That's why I can't buy these. Things. Yeah, yeah, that would have taken me forever to eat. I've constantly got junk. Some junk food in my house. It lasts a long time in my house. So, I mean, like my wife will tear through a bag of chips every now and then. It's pretty rare. So, but she'll, you know, it'll sit in the kitchen for days before she attacks it. Well, I so, have a giant bucket of candy that when the kids come by, they have yeah. to tell me a fact and I give them a piece of candy. See, that's nice. And Jeff rated that. Some of the... <laughs> But yeah, so he had a three musketeer that sounded like he was shattering teeth. Ugh. Oh, I'd been in there for a while. Yeah. Was that, it a little one or a big one? Little, it was a little yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it was from last Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> the kids have their Halloween stash, and then after they finish like, not touching it for a while, I just you get the overflow. dump it into yeah. the, the bucket to give to the kid. No, what he had that I absolutely love is like. I don't really care about Tootsie Rolls anymore, but Tootsie Rolls makes these fruit-flavored Tootsie Rolls that are just so awesome. I don't think I've ever had one. Oh, they're fantastic. They're at Walmart, whatever. You get it. Uh, they're just in the bag of assorted I, 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 I didn't even buy Halloween candy this year, man. No. You're not you're giving not. anything out? I, no, I'm going to Grinch it out this year. Yeah. So, yeah, my daughter's actually going to go to another neighborhood to trick-or-treat for her last time probably ever. <laughs> So, she got a couple of friends who are gonna go. And so I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm turning off the light." So, what grade is she in now? She's in seventh grade. That's so, right around the yeah, time turn it the, off. right 13? about the time where yeah. you kill it off. Yeah, I'd be surprised if she does it with thirteen, just because, like, her school no costumes, not allowed. So ah. yeah, they're mm. pretty strict about it. So you have to like organize shit outside. There's no like n- nothing school related, right? to it yeah do yeah. they even celebrate the harvest festival what is the harvest festival it was halloween without being halloween it was it's it sounds you're, dumb you're celebrating <laughs> the, you know, <laughs> yes yeah no they don't have that so yeah. yeah um dude it's still weird for me to hear them when they would call it the winter holiday oh know? instead of christmas yeah. yeah instead of christmas break yeah 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 i think my school does that we call it winter break yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, this will be the first year in a few years that I've grinched it out. I've done it before. Mm-hmm. Now I'll probably, I'll probably do it. I, I, I'll buy if I'm not going to do the door thing. I'll still buy candy, put it out, put a bowl on out with candy, and say, "Take two pieces, please." Yeah, and they just come up, grab their stuff, and go. I think my wife did that one year where <clears> I was jammed up with something. And like all the candy went instantaneously missing. Yeah, the so, last time yeah. I did it, my neighborhood's pretty yeah. good. My, mine usually is too, but like it just takes one. It just takes one kid. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Well, we're gonna take the whole bucket. Yeah, but it, like I used to give out the big candy bars. So oh, you're that. Well, I go to Costco like in September, and they they because they have the box of like assorted candy bars, and then but if you. If you if you wait until you know Halloween, it's... then it's fucking insanely expensive, and they've got it all broken up, and they put the shit candy in there so, <laughs> to help yeah. sell it, you know. And so I buy one of those, um, and then my rule was when they're gone, they're gone, we're done, so kind of thing. But um, yeah, no, this year I got a fucking steam shovel on my front yard, so yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah, a I'm not gonna yeah. fair point, yeah, so. I'll, I might even park my truck so it blocks my stairs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You would have an absolutely yeah. good reason. You're like, I don't want to get sued. <laughs> I don't want to get sued. Yeah. You all should just walk around this place. Yeah, this one doesn't like the doorbell. So I don't want to listen to her oh, yeah. yap all night. So My problem is that they can probably see me from the street. So Yeah, but they'll also see your yard is... It might not be fucked up by then. So they're supposed to work on it tomorrow. We'll see if they get it done. Hopefully, so, yeah. I hope they do get it done before Halloween because, yeah, I don't want a 10 foot deep hole in my front yard. I don't know. When kids are out there. <laughs> 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 Wandering around when it's dark, yeah. 
It's have they already uh -huh. started? I don't have street lights in my neighborhood either. No, you don't. No, I don't. Yeah. Have they already started? No. Mm -hmm. They have to get it marked. Uh, I don't think they're going to finish in one day. They might. We'll see. You think? They said they, they would. Really? Yeah. How long did it take well, yours? It was a few days. Okay. Well, I hope they do, But my room's also, ours was also in the middle of winter where the ground was frozen. Like, yeah, wasn't it a bitch for them? They, it yeah. Was, it was terrible. I mean. Yeah, ours should be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be too bad. We'll see. They got the machinery out there, so, yeah. Well, but, they say they can do it in a day. Shit, they should be but they said that on Friday... And they said it would be Friday and then Monday, but then they didn't do any work on Friday because the guy didn't come to mark the lines. So, but they, to be fair, they were only there for like three hours, so they were planning on showing up way late in the day. So, You've got a chance. I got a chance. Got a chance. Yeah. If they show up at like eight o'clock and block me in tomorrow, I get to call in sick, which would be great. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's like that's going to happen no matter what. No, I've oh. I've missed so much school this oh, fall, yeah, dude. I, well, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I like true. this and my mom and all kinds of different things. I mean, I feel bad for some of my students because they are not getting it. Well, they are. I mean, because I'm a pretty I'm I'm a pretty screaming deal when it comes to having me in class. So, <laughs> you know, um, but I, I've definitely missed more class. One class because I only have one that's actually on campus this semester. I've missed that one more than I have missed any class in the last nine years. So, right. yeah, just because of all the shit that's been going on. So, I'll it go. It has been I, pretty I, it, yeah. wild. It has been pretty crazy. Semester. Well, I mean, that was the... Well, that doesn't even include the train wreck. <laughs> you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. I couldn't make it there that day because it was a fucking train. So, oh, yeah. uh, damn. I'm sure they understood that one. It's like, well, hey, it's, it's like, guys, that's a one in a million. That's like getting attacked by a shark on land. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because, I, I, I mean, like, with all the teachers I taught with, like, there were people that had, you know, they'd, they'd been there for 20 years, right? Uh -huh. And so they... they missed a few days here and there like a lot of teachers don't like to miss days right no they don't it's like i don't want somebody else especially in public education it's like i don't want to want somebody else covering my material because mm -hmm. whatever i tell them to do i'm gonna have to do again you know tomorrow yep. or whatever um but then I'd, I'd have a person that basically like they, they broke their femur or they had oh yeah something like that and they're gone for half a year <clears throat> yeah you see know? and that's let's so like i've worked myself in a position like that i've got almost six months of fucking sick time so that I could work. Yeah, I know. So, like, yeah. I actually dropped my short-term disability insurance because I was like, um... I, oh, you I, have enough time to cover I that. have enough time to cover wow. that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I have enough time to cover yeah. the gap twice, so it's 90 <laughs> days. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and if you use that up, then sign up for short-term. <laughs> but I mean, if you're in that, actually, position... I have to burn my sick time before I can even use short term. So that's right. why I dropped it. Right. I was oh. like, "Well, this is dumb." So, because that's the thing, I don't remember. Like, I don't remember if my dad. I know he went on it, mm -hmm. but I don't remember if he went straight to long term or not. I have no idea. <laughs> Sometimes you do if you that have enough sick time. Concept so... Yeah. Well, shit. He wanted to keep working anyway, because that's my dad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, early on in his diagnosis, he was just like, that's fine. It'll be fine, yeah. yeah. People get cancer all the time. Yeah, my dad was the same way. Yeah. And then two weeks later, he was dead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it murdered my dad fast. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was quick. I was like, oh, wait, it's a lot worse than you were saying, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, yeah he, he wanted to keep working through it. And then, of course, like, um, you know, my mom sort of made that difficult, you know, so. And, yeah, rightfully so. Yeah. Yeah, my dad was considerably older than yours, so he didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. He was long retired. I mean, I think he had been retired about four years, three years fully. I think so, yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like that. So Oh dad was dialing it in, but he wasn't there yet. <sighs> yeah, well your dad was a lot younger than mine. So In hindsight, yes, it's it's kind of weird to think about the fact that I'm sort of like almost as old as your dad. Well not yet. Yeah, I know. So yeah, we're, we're creeping yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. Getting there. Yeah. I, I literally yeah. thought about that the other day. I was just like <laughs> creeping up there. 
Huh. Less than a decade, right? Really? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I didn't work on any missiles or anything. So. <laughs> you, what are you benchmarking yourself against? Your back? I don't think you've wrenched on anything in Dakota either, man. So. <laughs> Hey, you weren't drilling for asbestos, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. We found you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to out of the top, baby. <laughs> we did it, Rich. That's a gut. You know? <laughs> so I don't know what would have naturally killed our dad, but uh, oh. I think we've got more years to go. I would think so. Look, the 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 only thing that's gonna get us is if we find out in like twenty more years that we find out that like uh, alupent inhalers were oh, they're fine, extremely carcinogenic. I would or be something. dead if that was the case <laughs> already. I did wish for the inhaler last night. Like that's oh, how bad yeah. it was. Yeah. What was going on? I went to like there's a place that serves prime rib right near my house. Okay. And we went there, and it's in, like, a, a equestrian place that does, like, shows and all this kind of stuff. Oh. And... Are you allergic to horses? I guess so. Oh, fuck. Like, I am so allergic to horses. Like, 15 minutes in, I was just like, huh. It's been kind of hard to breathe. <laughs> and then by the time dinner was done, I'm like, I feel like I only have one lung. I was like, oh, this is... Oh, my goodness. Huh. That's pretty good. And I'm already still on, like, the um, allergy med stuff. Oh, like yeah. I take one a day, and I was like, oh. That was unexpected. Allergies do change as you get older, man. So they can come, they can go. So, you know. Did not see that coming. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been around a horse in a long time, but I remember. Um, so horses are kind of like you are with cats. I was fine around them, but if I touched my eyes, right. they would instantaneously yeah, right. you know, balloon don't. up to golf. But, you know, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't put it in an open wound. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. You don't rub horse hair in an open spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's trying to seal it up, yeah. <laughs> so, but gotta get used to it. Gotta get used to it. Yeah. No, but I used to be really like. I think I got tested for allergies like maybe. Oh, it wasn't too long ago. Maybe like six, seven years. Were they scratch you or what? Yeah, or they do the little oh, brick uh, tests. Uh, yeah. They, well, now they do it all on your arm. They used to do it all over your back and shit, yeah. you know. But now they just do it all on your arm. Is it do it all at once? Like it's just like uh -huh. a drink and then you can no, see which one's no, right. no. They sit that there and they they, crazy. they put all these dots on there and then you just yeah. stab each one of them with yeah. a pin. So uh, okay. and then you and then you have to wait for like and it's not very long. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, it was like you had to wait hours yeah. and it was like excruciating because it was like yeah, I just want to scratch my back. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like don't roll over, you know, kind of thing. So, but now it's it's pretty straightforward, and then you just go in there and do it. But you know, so I've been tested so many times, you can kind of track how they've changed over the years. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and so like there was a time, and I I don't think it was last time, but maybe the time before where I was deathly allergic to dogs, horses, and cats. So, yeah, wow. my dogs have stayed the same. I've gotten worse on horses, so but better on cats over the years. So which makes sense because I have two of them. So yeah. Immunity-ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, but then, like, when I was a kid, I, I could eat all the shrimp I wanted. So, and then I can't do that anymore because it developed that one. So, they actually tested me for that one last time. They are like, yeah, don't put prawns in your mouth, dude. So, okay. <laughs> Would you want to eat shrimp if you could? I miss it so much. Oh, I miss, like, you know what I miss more than anything else is scallops. I used to love fucking scallops. Mm. So... Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Scallops are one of my favorite food. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, not, I'm, I'm sorry for you because I think they're just absolutely goddamn delicious. It's all right, man. At the point in time, it wasn't something like, okay, my life's over. Now, if I, like, I came back and they said, oh, you're lactose intolerant, I'll be like, I'll fucking show you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that would be a tough one for me, too. Yeah, like. Well, lactose and like, you know, when my wife got diagnosed with the celiac, I was like, uh, we're not doing the Jewish kitchen thing. So, because, right. yeah, I, like if it came around and they said, well, you can't drink beer anymore. I'd be like, mm -mm, no, <laughs> <laughs> one of the two of us is going to win this, my body or me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, man, that'd be a tough one. And, and especially with your wife too, with the celiac thing too, like. Cause I remember, I remember at times like it seemed like she, 
like her entire week's like like food was just that big box of goldfish. There's bagels. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. No, hers didn't kick in until she went through chemo. So, yeah. Mine would be if they took sugar away. I, That'd be a pretty rough one for me, too, man. I, I, yeah. That is super stable in my world. I don't put as much sugar in the shit that I used to, but that would, I don't that know would be a rough one. I don't know if they ever ban sugar from people. Like, if they tell people, yeah, you need to not have sugar. There's a lot of people that tell dietitians tell you, it's like, oh, get rid of all the sugar in your diet, you know, kind of oh. thing. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of like, um, is that a life I want to live? Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, like, the, the whole reason, like, the, the no sugar, no brain thing came about was for diabetes. Right, yeah. That And that's where they actually tested the results on this, you know, because... You can measure it. It works. I mean, it's just the, the, the problem there is the, the biggest issue that people have is unless they're under the threat of losing a foot, oh, yeah. it is hard to maintain that that control over it. And even then, there's a lot of people who's like, so I lose a foot. Yeah. <laughs> I can Deion Sanders this one. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck it. They're just kind of like, you know, that's, that's going to happen anyway, right? It's weird because, like, diabetes is weird. You can see people who look absolutely fine. My godfather had it. He looked great right yeah. until Mom. he died. Yeah. Well, minus the... Well, yeah, yeah so that's got nothing to do with right. diabetes. But, yeah, that, but yeah that's... that's and, and hers is largely under control, if I recall. I think she was... They still monitor it and all that kind of stuff. But she also watches what she eats. She does. And, but when she lived at my house no, yeah, <laughs> the yeah. numbers were jumping all yeah. over it's the eating animal circus crackers it's, 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 it's his house it's like fucking like it's like when they say like when you live in new york you're never a foot away from a rat it's just <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, a foot away from you're, a cheetah you're never <laughs> you're never more than a foot away from a heath bar that you didn't expect it's just like fucking it's everywhere well right? like i had gotten the kids like a super giant hershey chocolate bar and so oh my god they, they they ate some of it and you know and then we i had to smash it up to put it in like a container and and it was just sitting there like nobody was really doing it it's chocolate there. and then my mom got there and she's just like huh it's chocolate in a container i got a few pieces oh a few pieces and then she's just like um I ate all your chocolate. I need to go to the hospital right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when I was uh, sitting as kids, you know, for the one time I had to do that, you know, because uh, there was going to be that work thing, which worked out. But yeah, it's, I wouldn't know, because when I go over there, I'm like, I'm hungry, right? Oh. I'm going to go, it's like, I, I have to eat a meal, right? So you go in there, I'm like, well, I don't see what's here at a meal, but like, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna spread some jam on my oh, pop you. tart. And, like I was sprinkle candy. I wasn't there when you had the chocolate bar. I guess I'm like, well, he does have two pieces of bread, so like I guess we'll put a Hershey in here for like <laughs> we'll consider this ham, you know. Now my my go to snack has been one of your favorites lately is the Ritz with the cream cheese and a little bit of strawberry jam. It's delicious, it's so good, absolutely delicious. The, so the, the little fat on it helps that sweetness go a it. mile. It's fantastic and so when i do that though but i'll, I'll grab like five ritzes yeah. there that's my limit all right on that and be like okay you know after i just slather like these up yeah no i don't have the little cup full of shoestring potatoes but you know they i still definitely... have those at the store they, they do i i had some of them not too long ago um they they did not last long in my house <laughs> so so my, other people like them and my daughter discovered what they were she's like dad these are wonderful they i was like are. those were mine <laughs> 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 well that's tough for my dad it's like but you understand if you eat my after eights i then have to reduce how many i can have per day right because i've counted those yeah. on so my wife does that with soda <laughs> so no, but with the with the five ritzies this is just the, the... That, that's me yeah the five ritzes so i'll just grab five and the jam and the the fucking thing is cream cheese and just enjoy it for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's five. Mean, that'll take you 20 minutes. It's so good, five. man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could eat them like instantaneously. I mean, I can put down an entire magazine do, of Oreos in less than a minute. Do you so, nibble <laughs> or you just eat one saver I, and then like yeah, wait well, a few minutes? It takes preparation time too, you know. So you got to put you know got to put the shoes <clears> on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got you got you got prep. So you don't make all five at once. No, 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 no. Okay, no. okay. Gotcha. So, but yeah, that's 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 why I don't put as many Oreos in my mouth now. 
And so, I gotta tell you, Oreos have gotten sweeter since I started, like, not eating as many of them. Well, yeah. So, yeah. No, I, well, yeah. They're shockingly sweet, and so... No, of course. Yeah, yeah. because they're... It, <laughs> like those... So, I'm gonna say this. Alright, so... When I get my goodies, I like to actually get them from the bakery. Right. Right? You're just... Yeah, my mom does the same thing. I like to get them from the bakery, just... And it's not that I don't love Oreos. Oreos are fantastic, mm -hmm. right? It's just that Oreos, like, you know, McDonald's, it's a caricature of food. It is. Right? Um, so it's turned up to 11. And especially if you're like, well, I can't eat the dull cookie parts. I only want the super sweet insides. The dude, Will's house, okay, he had, I shit you not, he had at least five, five racks of, of separate Oreos. Different kinds of Oreos? Um, there were two golden, oh. then there was regular Oreo, double stuff, and then the chocolate ones. Ooh, the chocolate ones are good. They are. Oh, all those, yeah, all the ones you mentioned are good. Yeah. I just eat the golden ones. I like gold the, ones. The... Nikki will eat some of the other ones. Kids will eat. I think William hasn't had an Oreo in forever. Yeah, I can't put that kind of stuff too much of that in my house because then my daughter will just eat that. So you know, we don't we don't monitor the child very carefully. <laughs> no, she's, so she's, she's definitely very... a free range child, yeah. and so yeah. there will be times where I'll go and it'll be like two o'clock in the morning. You know, I get ready to go to bed. I was like, all right, let me pop a couple of Oreos. And I go upstairs, what the fuck are my Oreos? <laughs> so, you know, and she's got them stashed somewhere in the house. So, Olivia's our sweets eater, but yeah. she also eats everything. Yeah. She so, can't just eat sweets. It works. Yeah. She oh, okay. eats sweets and snacks. So, like, there's sometimes, like, what are you having for dinner tonight? She's like, cheese it's And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you just them. lost the power. Yeah, to like, give it to me. So, uh, it's like you gotta go eat something real before you get these back. So you gotta at least play it up, man. Say, it. Yeah. say, oh, I'm making <laughs> turkey and this and this. Cheez-Its, but yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's funny too. It's just like, what do you have? And it's like Cheez-Its. Like, you mean after you wash down some broccoli first, right? right? I don't think I've ever seen my daughter eat a vegetable. That's William. <laughs> I know, man. We, well, so she did when she was a kid. When she was a baby, we used to feed her all kinds of stuff like that. She used to eat it up, and then something happened when she turned about six. So that all of, about right. All of a sudden, everything at this point in time was ketchup, French fries, and some form of fried chicken, or you know, nuggies. particularly in nuggy form, yeah. or hot dogs. So mm. you know. And it's been that way ever since. And so she stopped eating everything that That's I used to. Yeah. yeah. And so now she's just finally like, I, I made hamburgers the other day. She's like, Daddy, this is really good. I was like, yeah. So <laughs> everything we've been telling you, know, those, yeah. those are pretty, we're not trying to trick you into eating like this liver that she <laughs> yeah. can't, yeah, like days old. <clears throat> so it's like, what do you think I'm eating? Fucking tarantula eggs? No, it's just... <laughs> Ooh, tarantula eggs. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I gotta tell you, like, in in hindsight, knowing some of the shit that my mom had in the house, oh, and yeah. I tried willingly, like the things that that I remember liking, okay, but I would <laughs> that I wouldn't touch in a second. Now is she would eat those tiny little dried fishes? Yeah, I wouldn't touch those for I'm, a million I'm dollars not now. Those either, right? But I ate a ton of them. Right? My father-in-law eats those. The dried ones? Yeah, the, like dried anchovies. So no, yeah, no. okay. They're whole different. fish. No, no, no. Did they're tiny. You call them medici, or is that something else? So it you eat them whole? It's... Yeah, you just eat. They're them just whole. And, yeah, they got the whole heads on and everything. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah there, okay. there's no way I would do that now. No. She had that 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 weird fish egg shit, the red stuff. Uh, it's not caviar, but it's it's. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember that one. Well, I, I do remember seeing it, but I, yeah, I definitely Yeah, wouldn't. you didn't touch it because you're like, what is that, a fucking organ? <laughs> and, uh, Does your mom have a separate fridge for all that shit? No. Did she have a second she, she did. She did eventually we? did. Eventually. She, the, yeah, she got the, the one that yeah. used to be right here. Eventually, okay. but growing up, it wasn't. No, well, not for a while. She eventually got that when we were in, like, high school. Um... But yeah, the rest of the time, it's just like, oh, I don't know, just dig a hole and bury it. Um, yeah, there was that. There was just, it, there's just stuff in there like, <clears throat> I can't believe I ate all this shit. Like, the, the idea right now, I won't touch that, that uh, 
I don't even know how they prepare that squid, but it's... The dried squid? I won't touch it. I like that I stuff. I fucking hate Wait, that Wait, which stuff one? Now. The ones that was the flat one or the yellow string stuff? The flat one is far worse. <laughs> but the... <laughs> But the the strings, I don't want to touch oh, the strings. Strings are fantastic. Yeah, I had like, I had one when mom was out here, a bag of that. That didn't last long. I can't, I can't believe how much it costs. Is it expensive? I it's it's like nine dollars. Well, I guess it's like beef jerky. Like if you were to oh, buy okay, a bag yeah. of beef jerky, it'd be about so it's squid same. jerky. Yeah, right. so yeah. jerky. <laughs> yeah. So you take a whole squid, right? <laughs> I don't know what parts of the squid, but yeah. Marinate it in liquid smoke or whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Caramel. Get <laughs> butter. <laughs> Take that thing that we joke about putting like the cow in the phone book in. <laughs> Run it through there and see how good oh. it is. <laughs> it's safe. See that thing shoot out an engine block. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you do? It's like, stretch Armstrong goes in here, here's the light bulbs, you right. know, pencils. Like, how does it handle 64 crayons? Great. Great. Um, so here's a whole squid, and you're going to eat Has that. Has it failed on anything? I've never seen it try to eat itself. <laughs> <laughs> you throw one of the other ones in there. I don't know. Throw one of the little ones in there. <laughs> <laughs> the universe ends if you try that. Yeah, it's, just, it's like dividing by zero, so I have no idea. But, yeah, and then it's like, okay, and you're going to eat these shoestring... Like, this is what I'm talking about. So I'm prepped to eat just a, about anything. But there's stuff, like, in my childhood, I'm like... God, no, I don't want to touch it. That one's still good. I, as a matter of fact, so... The other thing that again, this is super common in the in the Asian world is like any pastry has that bean paste in it. Oh yeah. yeah right? That's why I don't eat their mm. cakes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's unique and I can have like this much of it. You would rather have chocolate in there though. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything. Yeah. It's, it's like it's so if you're like I've had those. Do you want do you want Oreos or do you want the fucking <laughs> I want the Oreos. It's like yeah, every yeah, time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, your country should have the Oreos. <laughs> right. <laughs> we export these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take these. <laughs> Throw over that machine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then after that's done, take every like existing like document of the recipe, throw that in yeah. there too, and just eat Oreos, because that shit is whack. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's it's got a very unique and bland taste to it. Yeah, it's yeah. And I get it. I understand that's why they're they're like their pastries when when I'm sure you've heard this too, like you've had German students and they're like oh, yeah. your desserts here are or horrifyingly sweet. Yes. Yeah. Right? And, so and then you actually eat German chocolate, it's like this is gross. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. yeah. I do not like German chocolate cake. No, it's terrifying. So uh, yeah. Well, okay. it's, it's it's not like it's you're like eating fake, man. It's like this looks like a normal cake. Yeah, yeah, it really yeah. does. <laughs> it looks like it should be delicious, right? And does uh, not. It's not. Guys, stop it. Okay, so it's not as good as American cake, but it's not like what is this? It's like well, it's chocolate and grease paint. You know, it's not. It kind of is. It it's looks like chocolate like, and wax. It yeah, looks like they you know. painted real food <laughs> <laughs> to pass as this. And you're tasting the paint. Like, it's, it's like. The funny thing is that Germany's like connected to Holland, which has the best fucking sweets on the face of the planet. And so, you know. Well, Holland is. You'll find all Veronese. You find right. all kinds of things there. So, it's fantastic. So, it's like the land of sugar. So, uh, <laughs> sounds wonderful. It is. But yeah, that's that's one of many places where they will sell my favorite my favorite uh, cookie. What, Stroopwafel? No, oh. no, Polveronese. Oh, Polveronese, yeah, yeah. Dutch wedding cake. Well, they're also Russian tea cakes. Russian tea cakes, thing. Mexican wedding, wedding cakes. cakes. Yes, yeah. yes. Absolutely. I haven't made those. any of those. I'm gonna have to make some of those. My They're really fucking favorite. easy to make. So, dude, I gotta tell you, like, so I can't. I think you made some a while back, and you gave. It's been some. a while. Yeah. And uh, so I was, <clears throat> I was Jones and Form Hard. So I went on Amazon. I'm oh, like, no. does somebody sell these? And like, yeah, yeah. I bought some. Took a bite, and they had stuffed it with ginger. Ew. And coconut. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of recipes that put coconut in them. And it's like, no, man, it's shortbread and walnuts. So. Yeah, those those things, like, it's it's not my fault for not reading. 
right? <laughs> so I couldn't go on there and one star the shit because like <laughs> how can I <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of recipes. It's like, oh, dried coconut. I was like, nope, next. So, dried coconut. So why, nope, would you, next. why would you? Yeah. If they are Mexican wedding cakes, why would you ruin a perfectly good wedding by fucking up those, right. those delicious cookies? So, putting coconut so. It's a, a, a yeah. wedding. So, All right. Yeah, it's, a, it's this fucking ad that's on on the uh, the radio now that's been pissing me off lately. <laughs> So I use a few minutes Why? to rant about this just because you're talking about Mexican wedding cakes, all right? Like you get hot about weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> this one's got me going, man, just because I've heard it so many fucking times now. So like I listen to radio constantly whenever I'm commuting. So like my radio is constantly on whatever the, the news channel is. Yeah. I don't listen to music. Um and so um there's this FEMA ad that's out right now and it's 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 like ethno baiting so really yeah so it's done by this lady who's supposed to be like your abuela you know telling ah. you about emergency preparedness and stuff like that and then she's sitting there sitting like talking and there's this line in there where she's talking about how important it is to be prepared and you know you, you're going to be just as prepared as you were for your daughter's quinces <laughs> And they say it over and over again, and it's just like, stop that. Okay. So yeah. this isn't the this isn't the fucking. I mean, because I, I was I've, I've heard the ad so many times now. Yeah. Because it's on every fucking break. So you know, kind of thing, <laughs> where I had time to think about it, and I was like, wait a minute. Okay. So this is completely patronizing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is just as bad as like you know. I don't know, having a black guy talk about community service and basketball, you know, right. it's kind of like, right. okay, um, so you're obviously not trying to reach that market, because otherwise this would be on the Spanish language, right. channel. So, which they have an identical radio station that does the exact same programming, but it's in Spanish. So I was like, why is this on this one? <laughs> So what did you, what conclusion did you draw? Well, it's ethno baiting is what it is more so than anything else. It's just like, well, there's a segment of the market that obviously doesn't, you know, heed our evacuation <clears> orders <throat> when we issue them. And so how do we reach them? So, and they're like, well, we have to do this in a way that's actually, you know, covering all of our bases. And so here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and put together this, this absolutely um, infantilization of an entire culture yes together because it'll make us look like we're being you know like proactive i guess in that community and that's the best answer i can come up with but it, i mean it's just like i mean if i mean okay so i don't know who did the commercial she's very well spoken and stuff like that she's sure. she's got a very nice accent things like that but i mean She's even like remotely actually not faking it and is attached to that community. I don't know how you do an ad like that. So, you know, it's just it's 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 insulting. So Well, okay, so yeah. you're you're with It's just like you just like your dad is keen says. Like you know, and it's just like they say it like three fucking times. Right. So, <laughs> it, 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 okay, so again, it's <laughs> What you're touching on is the same, you know, sense of pandering that I'm always like fucking curious pandering. about. Where yeah. I jump in there and so you know But it's not going to that market. That's the thing. So well, no, yeah. of course not. You know why? Because that market fucking knows. Exactly. Yeah. Right? That's what I'm saying. So yeah. like when you take a character and you say like, all right, let's do this but black, right? It's exactly what it is. And, let's and, do this but Mexican. So Right. And yeah. the thing that, that really always jumps out at me is they never they never assume that people from other cultures can't help from <laughs> introduce it. It's like right. uh uh you can't watch it's like all right, so you change this character. It's like, all right, so you're telling me that no black person lives a normal life, right? <laughs> so much to the point where if you're gonna put this in, oh well then sometime at the uh dinner table they must discuss how I can't believe I was pulled over for day for doing fucking no. Uh, okay, yeah. It's, what I'm saying is like you always yeah. introduce you you it's like so this is all your experience. Yeah, it's just it's so ham fisted. So that you know, it's just it's yeah. 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 I mean and so at first, I mean I could probably listen to the ad maybe a dozen times without really it sticking, but because they play it constantly over and over and over yeah. and over again, I've had time to think about it and then you like, yeah, I have kind of come to the same conclusion. Pandering. That's me so, with every yeah. show. Right, right, right. right. 
Right, yeah, I guess. This is me in life. <laughs> yeah, I'm Dude, I'm sorry. Everywhere. No, it's, you don't have to apologize for it, man. I mean, we, we get it now. It's everywhere. And, like, uh, the first couple of times, like, you choose, it's like, Keen says, right? right so yeah. You, you, you study your Spanish, you're like, I'm going to say that yeah, because I'd rather, says, yeah, yeah, right? And then that's I was like, word. oh, yeah, I know. They used to call it quinceanera. So, uh, you know, it's shortened. Okay, cool. Is it really? So that's the, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. So, but, you know, after you hear it a hundred times, you're like, why is this a thing? So yeah. Well, uh, that's cool. I would have told them they're saying it wrong. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> they're like, no, you mean Quinceanera, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's the like, thing. Well, it's that's just shortened. <laughs> you know. yeah, the way the way that you say it, yeah, is is that's a it's really a menu weird. item. <clears throat> so and culturally One speaking, Quinceanera, please. Right? Yeah. <laughs> show off. It's like a car wash. Extra wax on it. No, but that's one of those things. I mean, if you th- if you just like think for a second about what that is actually <laughs> celebrating too, you know, and it's like, okay, I get it. It's part of being a kid, you know, in that culture and yada, yada, yada. But if you take it back, you know, it's like, oh, it's okay to get married now. <laughs> 15. It's wacky. <laughs> it yeah. is kind of weird, it, it doesn't so, mean the same thing, but I know yeah, it I doesn't know. mean the same thing now. So thankfully, but do guys get anything in that culture? I don't know. So is it like do you get a bar mitzvah if you're Mexican? I don't think so. You absolutely do not. You, okay. Yeah. See, does anybody get anything except for the Jews? I mean, like in Catholics, you can get confirmed. So yeah, and that's that, that's that. <laughs> but you're not sure, supposed to get right. money for that. So from who? Well, your Godfather. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, man! When uh, so you know, I, I grew up with a lot of people from like New Jersey, and specifically New Jersey, right? And, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the thing. Like most of them were like, "Well, I, 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 I don't know. I'm like, I'm kind of Catholic, but I don't really right, feel right. it." Right. Um. Everybody, like, as soon as they went through confirmation, as soon as that was done, they all collected like five thousand dollars of checks from there. Were they family. Italian? No. Uh, okay. Some were. Some yeah. Were, but yeah. I, I mean, I, I so I'm a little familiar with the Irish side, and that's not a thing. <laughs> so. Oh man, yeah. yeah the the checks just just. Yeah. So well, because I, at the same time, like, but they were also constantly writing checks for all of their nephews and nieces mm. and traveling, and so like you know, um, scumbag that I am, you know, where it's like it's just me attending that graduation, right? So I go clap for the kid, I leave, right? But you wouldn't do that in those families because no. when you roll in there, they're like, "What do you mean we can only get fourteen tickets? We need thirty nine." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Because they're going to every fucking event. Every weekend, it's like, uh, we got to go back out here because somebody somebody's getting married and, and whatever or or that kind of thing. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass. <clears throat> or pass. I'm good with small family. No, that's great. No. And, yeah, that's... It's, it's fine. It's fine. No, I just... No, you're talking. We're we're talking about two separate things. It's just mine. It's it's. You introduce that character, and it's like, these will go great on my tapas. Oh, like, right. Really? Do you? It's like you you don't eat hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, maybe she doesn't. It's kind of like, it's kind of like how they used to make like Gambit talk in the cartoons. Like, so I get it. You're from Louisiana. Is he but... supposed to be Cajun? Yeah, he didn't sound like any Cajun I had ever met. He's Cajun, but like, <clears throat> why is the only flutes is like so? Okay, so you know, like Cher, and you know, like fromage, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, do you do you still talk like this? Is that? <laughs> I was totally fine with it. I think the design is amazing, but I think the let's pick. Five random words that are going to be <laughs> French. Well, I did that for, you know, Colossus had like five Russian words and his stupid Night there crawler too. had yeah. five German words. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's like, oh, so you're German. Okay, so how do you express that? It's like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine got. Yeah. No, it's it's like uh, voice boy. 
Dr. Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever saw him see that one. What? I don't think I ever saw Donka Shane. Donka. I don't think he did. He, if anything, he should be saying choose. Choose. That's goodbye. But not like. Oh, him. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's, it sounds awful. Right. I thought you it said sounds... Jews. I know. <laughs> I know. Bro, okay. I'm just going to close on this. Oh, we like, can't do this, man. Fucking like. <laughs> it's so bad. Anti Semitism is back. I guess so, man. I, yeah. So, uh, like, yeah, London today was crazy. So, yeah, even like, I, okay, so I was giving Douglas Murray some shit last week. I'll let him off the hook this week, man. So, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it's back. And then, yeah, that thing in Russia was nuts. So, where everybody's like rushing the shooting. Plane. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see any shooting, but I shooting. saw them like fucking rushing that plane on the tarmac, and it just landed from Tel Aviv. They're like, no, take off, take off, take off. <laughs> just, I don't know what the fuck is going on, man. So, like, I used to like joke about this shit, where like obviously I, I didn't have any anti-Semitism, but there was a lot of like, <laughs> you guys have all the acting jobs, but I mean, this is like. Uh, yeah, that's that's funny. Kanye West has been decidedly missing for a little while now, bro. So, yeah, this is the weird thing is is like everyone in Hollywood that normally right because you're talking about you're talking about the industry that has all the Jews in it. Uh -huh. You're talking about it like nobody is nobody's breathing a word. Yeah, I've got kind of quiet, man. Yeah, because it's like Ugh. well, we're sort of in bed with the party that likes the other guys. So normally we'd run our mouths about you know everything, yeah. But we're just gonna mm, just just keep it closed, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's wacky. Yeah, they're all right in my book, dude. Who the Jews? Yeah, yeah, sure. They're, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get that out there. No, Hamas is the bad guy. We get this. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you drag a bunch of people away like Vikings, yeah, you know, you, yeah. you kind of like put yourself out as the bad guy. Thank you. There, yeah. Okay. So. I'm I'm cool to work uh, um, with that. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, and I heard Israel was invading today, so I don't know if that's actually true because they've had like two or three false starts on that. So that's I have no story. idea. Um, oh. I mean, it's supposedly they're they're trying to also now figure out again who's responsible for the hospital. They're, they're trying to, like... Hi. Yeah, dude, all right, they didn't blow up the hospital, they blew up the parking the lot. Parking lot. And when all said and done, like, I don't know. I've been plopping parking lots all weekend. So Did you get... Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll save that for the next one, so... Are you going to be here for the next one? Yes. Okay. Maybe we'll give it another week. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we'll... We'll see. I just want to say this. Does it still feel familiar yes. to you? Like you're not playing a new game? It is not a new game. Okay. It's a very nice version of an older game. Right. Right. It just, uh, the, the, the one thing I want to say about it is I, I want to give a credit before we dive into this. I feel like this game actually understands what I want to do. Yes. And has less barriers of like, why? <laughs> why? Yeah, why? Stop. Stop. Stop telling me that. Stop. <laughs> that. Why, why do you. Why can't you just stop clicking the road over like that? Just, <laughs> God damn it, man. Just do it. Understand me, please. Yeah, yeah that's... that's the... No, this one's basically like, you're the boss, click. <laughs> you're done. So, yeah. What do you want to unlock? Crematoriums? Go for it. Go for it, yeah. What do you want? Super crematoriums? Go ahead and put them right, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeless yeah. incinerators? Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I call them. You can rename every building. <laughs> You're right, you can. <laughs> I don't have that problem. <laughs> yeah. Do, do the people actually follow the signs? They're like, oh, I am homeless. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I, in in my fan fiction version of this, that long black car is driving them. Um, to their final destination. Kind of like a limo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, we got to start. All right, I'm, I'm going to be a problem. I'm Will. I'm Jeffrey. I'm, I'm wearing my work uniform. <laughs>